Hello, maths lovers. <laughs> uh, today we're going to cover vector equation of a straight line in 3D. Um, I'll just give you the equation and um, I'll describe it briefly. For a straight line, and here we have a straight line in space, a uh, straight line, well, what other type of line is there? So we can forget the straight. So it's a vector equation of a line 3D, sorry. So here's a line, and um, we have a point on the line, and that's a fixed point, okay? So that's fixed on that space, fixed in space. It's got certain coordinates. Uh, and we have... The origin, and th any point in space is an origin, it's wherever it is, it's a given origin, O. Oh. And the line is a locus, that is the path followed by this point, uh, B, which actually runs backwards and forwards along the line, okay? So all the points mapped out by this, will generate the straight line that we're interested in. This is all vectors, of course, so we can just write down the vector of equation of a straight line. This vector here, from the origin to the point A, is of course just small a. That's the notation we use. This one, the one that's moving along the line, is just small b. But we don't call it small b, we call it r, small r, because it's moving. And r in component form is given by x, y, z. So we're interested in these coordinates, if you like, x, y, z, when this point runs along this line. So from this vector diagram, you can see that OA plus AB will give R. So we have R is equal to OA plus AB. R, of course, is the same thing as OB, obviously, from the vector equation. This AB that runs along here, this vector AB, it's a multiple of what we call the direction vector D. Okay? And D lies along the line. It's called the direction vector. So this vector equation becomes A plus some a multiple of whatever D is. D. Essentially, that is the vector equation of a line. Okay, this lambda is called a free parameter. And as we vary the value, it's just a scalar quantity. To be precise, lambda is a real quantity. Any value at all, minus infinity plus infinity. That is fixed, doesn't move, that's that point in space, that's fixed, a fixed location. And this will then generate whatever B is along the line. We normally call R the radial, the radial vector, but um, it's more to do with circles and such like. So it's a, R is the position vector of this moving point. And that is the equation of a straight line. So in the next part of this video, this is just part one, uh, we're going to look at an example and determine, I'm going to show that this equation is not unique. There are other equations that represent the same straight line. So uh, we have a dilemma. Um, you can't really tell what a the straight line is just below, well you can it will generate a straight line but another totally different equation will generate the same straight line so we have to determine if 
two given equations are the same straight line. And that's the next problem we'll look at. Thank you. Bye.